It is very clear. I know who the culprit is. All of the evidence points to... Uh-huh. Yes. On my way. Oh my, there's a zombie attack on the other side of town. Oh my, this is the second time this week. I gotta go fast. Quickly. Two hours later. Great. We have another case on our hands. An officer named Officer Judy was reporting to investigate a large zombie attack at Bobo's Taco Shop. She decided to run on foot, but someone kidnapped her. Or worse, killed her. The only thing we found at the crime scene was her hat. Fire Gord, get in here. Yes, sir. We need to go interview some possible suspects, and I need you to record how they react and how they answer my questions. E got it, sir. Uh, um, oh, uh, on our way, um, can, can we stop by uh, Coffee Bean's coffee shop? Yes, good idea, Gord. I'm going to need some energy. Ah, we are finally here. Gord, you can go sit over there. Thank you, all of you, for meeting me here. But uh, one of you might be involved in a crime that happened last night. I will ask you a few questions, and my friend Gord here will just be watching all of you. First question. Where were you at the time of the incident? Uh, I was at Zombieland with my pal Scaredy Shroom. I was at my restaurant preparing the chili sauce before my restaurant opened in the morning. I was practicing some late night dance routines with Disco in his new studio. Alright, alright. Next question. Did you leave where you were? And if you did, what time? The crime occurred at 9.37 last night. Uh, I never left Zombieland until 11.30 when I was going home. I was only at my restaurant from 8.30 to 9, and then I went home as well. We were dancing all night, man. Uh, okay, okay, um, all right, final question. What was the last thing you, um, ate before the time of 9.40 last night? Uh, let's see, um, potato chips. A beef burrito. Brains, man! It is very clear. I know who the culprit is. All of the evidence points to... Pattaya! Huh? What? Why me? Here, let me explain. While yes, Officer Judy's body was gone, her head was found at the crime scene. We scanned it and found a greasy potato chip stain on it. Um, um, uh, yeah, and we also checked the uh, check-in database for Zombieland, and, um, it seemed that you had never checked into Zombieland. Also, there is no way that pathetic little scaredy shroom would go into Zombieland. He's terrified of the zombies. Huh? What? Um, uh, uh-oh. Um, you'll never catch me alive! Oh, I don't think they saw me. Oh, oh my. Ah! Got you, buddy. Now you're going to jail. No! Um, uh, uh, sir, your, 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 your culprit just ran away. Don't worry, Gord. I'm sure the police will catch him. Besides, that's not our job. Our job 
is to be detectives and figure out who caused the crime. But yeah, that is not our problem. Um, but sir, that, that's not right. I mean, we, we should really go after him. Gord, calm down. It's okay. Let the police take care of it. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, you two, you are free to go. We found the culprit and you are no longer involved or suspected to be involved in a crime. You are free to go and remember, if you ever need a case solved, call Detective Squash. <laughs> um, sir, we're on television. I don't think it'd be nice to do an evil laugh on television. Oh great, you found them. Come on, Gord, let's question them. Hey, Officer Sai, do you know anything about where Officer Judy is? I don't have the foggiest idea. Um, uh, Pattaya, you have to tell us where you put, or wh where you buried, or, uh, uh wh wh where you put Officer Judy. You have to, otherwise, um, otherwise you'll have more jail time and, uh, your life will be worse. I'll never tell you where I hid that old hag. Huh? She's not old! Ow! Alright, you two, alright, calm down. Pataya, I know you don't want to tell us where you hid Officer Judy, but what if I offer you something? Like, I don't know, maybe a little bit of your favorite supply of fertilizer while you're in jail and you're spending your jail time there. Wait, you really mean it? Of course I do. Look at me. Would I ever lie to you, Pataya? Well, uh, okay then, I hit her under that pillow over there. Great work, Pataya, thank you. By the way, no fertilizer for you. What? Hey, get back here! Um, uh, sorry, Pataya, but I, um, uh, I believe the saying is, um, uh, you snooze, you lose. Ha <laughs> ha, see ya! Well, look what we have here, Gord. A big, non-suspicious pillow. Why don't you take off the pillow and we'll see if Officer Judy is underneath. Uh, you got it, sir. Well, what do you know? There she is. Yes, Gord, there she is. I'm going to take her pulse to see if she is still alive. Ah, in fact, she is. I can feel a pulse coming from her. She must just be knocked unconscious. So, I'll try and wake her up. Officer! Officer! Wake up! Oh my! Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Where am I? Judy, don't worry. Me and my friend Gord here are keeping you safe. We found you. I may ask you some questions if that's okay. Uh, of course! Anything! Do you remember anything before you got knocked out? Uh, um, I remember I was on call to, um, investigate some sort of zombie attack or something for the second time this week at, um, Bobo's Taco Shop, I think it was, yeah. Um, and then I was just running, um, because I don't have my car, but, um, some big sharp obje object hit my head and I just, I blacked out, I guess. Well, that's okay, Judy. We've got the person in custody of whoever it was that threw that rock or sharp object at your head. Apparently it was on purpose because he drug your body over here and hid you. But don't worry, you're safe now. Yep, safe as can be. Oh, I don't know how to thank you guys enough. I mean, without people like you, I don't think I'd be alive right now. Save all the mushy stuff for later, Judy. Hey, I forgot. Um, if you want your hat, I do have it. It's in my evidence box back home. So just stop by later and I can give you your hat. We had to use it as evidence to try to 
figure out who threw the sharp object at you. Okay, uh, will do. I'm gonna go back to the station and tell everyone that I'm okay. Bye guys, see ya! Alright, Gord, everything is finally done. Let's go home, and then we can see what we'll do for the rest of the day. Come on, Gord. Wait, uh, sir, sir, I'm coming, don't, don't leave me behind. Another case solved, another day comes to a close. So, Gord, what are you going to be doing for the rest of the day? Who, me? Oh, um, I'm, well, I'm going to, uh, go see a movie later. Uh, you can come if you want, Chief, and I'll pay for your ticket if you want. Thanks for the offer, Gord, but I have some business I need to attend to. Oh, well, uh, that's too bad. Um, sorry, Chief, uh, I didn't, I didn't know you had business without me, but that's okay. Um, if, if you ever want to come by, I can buy you another movie ticket and we can go some other time. Um, anyways, see ya, Chief! Ten thousand strong, but the channel is beginning to have more and more problems. Now this is a case I have to crack.